you just built a studio shed, right? Yes, this is it right here. Yeah, it's a temporary. Oh, you're in it. Yep, I'm in it. Wait, it's, what do you mean it's temporary? It's temporary because I'm going to be getting a house soon, and I'm going to probably build another shed, honestly. So I left my studio that I was in for like 10 years. I'd always been in a studio because I was with the band. So we had a studio, and then the band um, decided we needed to move. We moved to another studio, and then we were in that studio for like seven years. And then once the band stopped, I took I took the rent over myself, and I stayed there. And that was another motivation, to, motivational factor too, because I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta make sure I pay this rent. So I need to really step things up. So it was a whole bunch of different factors, but side note. Um, yeah. So now once I left that studio in April of 2021, I was like, yeah, I, I, I just want to like build out the inside of this shed in the backyard and just kind of cook up in there. Cause I don't need a lot of space. I don't need to pay that rent right now. And it was just kind of like, I need, I need to change things up a little bit too. Cause I've been in there for so long. Okay. I, see, I was under the assumption that you own the property you built the shed on. Uh, this is the, the property that I built the shed on. The shed was already built in the backyard and it just wasn't done on the inside. The studio that I had prior to this was like a rental spot that I had, uh, close to downtown in Providence. And this one is, 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 uh, in our backyard. So, okay. I'm gonna, now that I did this with this shed, I, it just like changed my outlook because, a lot of people say, yeah, I just want to like build a studio in the house. I have three kids and it gets super noisy. So I like being away from the house. <laughs> I don't want to even be in the basement with them running upstairs. So the next house we get right now, we're looking for a new house. And I know for a fact, I'm going to be building another shed from scratch bigger than this. Cause this one was already built and just doing the whole inside. It's just, I don't know. It's the best decision I ever made, <laughs> honestly, studio wise trailer but yeah full of full of kitties right Bufo. um mm -hmm. i think uh i think um that that opens the floodgates on ideas studio ideas because you know they, yeah. they sell like tiny houses and stuff you can buy and yeah you can have you could literally have one shipped like from home depot or lowe's or any of those and there's a lot of other companies that make full-on sheds that you could probably that's almost like a tiny house like you said you could have it shipped and just kind of plopped in your yard. You wouldn't really have to build it, just finish the inside. And it's cool because you can um, feel like you're leaving the house a little bit, you know? And Yeah, especially if I don't have ways. kids or a family or anything. I'm just totally alone all the time in the dark. But with someone who does have family, you know, you, you do kind of want to get away from, from the noise and especially... I think this is good advice to people because I talk to a lot of people and, and tell me if this was your experience where if they're they've quit their jobs. Right. And they're treating their music career as a nine to five, but they're doing it all from home. Their environment doesn't provide much motivation for them because they just they associate home with relaxation, yeah. not with work. Yep. That's why I felt like I've always needed to go somewhere. So that's why I felt like I could have in the past done things out of my house. But I think what really kept me in that certain headspace, like you said, was having another place to go. And that's why I, I won't build something in my house. And I know that's not the case for a lot of people. Sometimes you don't have that, that choice or opportunity, right? Um, because maybe you don't have the space budget, whatever. There's, you know, many factors, it's a big enough yard to do something like that in, or maybe you can't rent a space somewhere else, but it definitely, plays a huge factor in, in everything mental because I always felt like I had to go somewhere else to do what I do to work, to work on beats, work on music, book clients, think of ideas, strategies. It's always, like you said, you associate home with relaxation and you could get caught real quick and just being like really extra lazy when it's work time because you're at home you're like oh i'm at home i have all the time in the world to do all this stuff i'll do it all tomorrow right. you can get into that mindset real quick